Hi everyone, this is Arun here with Liferay 6.2 tutorial. This is the sixth video in this series. And in this series, I am going to show you how we can create site templates and make use of the site templates in sites. I am already logged into the control panel of Liferay and click on the site templates which you are seeing in this under the sites. I am clicking on the site templates and you could see an add button here and clicking on add it will allow you to make a site template here. You mention your site template name. I am just creating Arun's template over here and I am just um, mentioning a description just for just for tutorial. Okay, I am clicking this active and the site template is going to be activated by default and I am checking this uh, will make the second uh, check will make the site administrators to modify the site pages when they create uh, the site template um, when they create a site using the site template they can modify their site pages by site administrators alone. I am just clicking on save and the site template got created and if you see here the site template name Arun's template that name got uh, came here and I could see a link visit pages I'm just clicking what is my site template pages yeah I could see only one site template the site template have only one page that is a home page and what I could do is I'm just adding a new content or let let it be a um, uh, applications I'm just going to uh, add some uh, application into the page let let me add the calendar here in this page I'm adding a calendar and also I'm going to add the bloggers also recent bloggers also I'm going to add so click this recent bloggers here okay just refresh the page yeah I got the calendar also I'm just making the calendar move to this place it's not moving yeah. drag this here on top okay so now I got the recent bloggers here and a calendar also here so uh, the site layout is some somewhat the site tem the page layout is somewhat uh, different it's uh, um, uh, it's something like two column uh, template is here so I'm just going here and clicking on the site pages um, and I would see the pages here home and what I would select is I would select this as single column and just save it so now if you refresh you could see the full screen of the page so it doesn't have the two uh, columns over here okay so uh, about site templates when we talk about site templates uh, you would see it doesn't have anything called uh, public pages and private pages why this is because it can be the site template can be applied to your public sites or private sites so both the sites is going to uh, uh, render the template pages behalf of private page or public page so it will always be rendered into your site so there you can mention whether you want to go with public pages with the site template once site template one and site template two with the, the private pages so those things you can uh, add so I'm again clicking back to the pages that is the root and I'm adding another page called about about us okay and I'm going to select this as a blog page uh, blog page okay and uh, just clicking on add page this will give me an add page so what I'm going to next uh, show you is just refresh the site template uh, page you could see an about us link also enabled that is the menu now what I would do is I'm just clicking on about us and I'm adding child pages so I'm just going to add child pages about Arun and that is going to be a what kind of a page I can select I can select one column blog or empty page okay I would select blog okay so now now I'm just adding this as a child 
page for about us so now what it will happen if I refresh the template page uh, and the mouse over here about us I could see about Arun link over here and also I'm going to add one more child page about Archa and that is also going to be a blog and add to the page and just going back to the site template refreshing it and I can I can mouse over here I could see two links uh, two sub menus got created for uh, this particular page about Arun and about Archa so next what I am going to do is I'm just going to add few contents uh, content blog content with about Arun I am going to add this as blog yep here I would see the blog and I am adding this myself Arun my name is Arun yep that's it copy this paste it around so this is what my blog looks like always say my name is Arun and I click on one smiley and making this bold few items italics and just making this underlined and also this one I'm making into striked out so these are all the things I could do with the blog just publish it and I would go here what I would say users I would refresh the page template and you could see there is the recent bloggers in the home page I have given the recent bloggers so who is the recent blogger the job blogger uh, I, I was logged in as job blogs and job blogs posted one recent blog here and uh, uh, job blogs name listed down and I'm going to click on about Arun I would see myself Arun as the blog here so this is one blog I have added for uh, Arun so uh, this is how you can uh, create a site template you can you can predefine your sites content sites data and sites links science menus whatever you have you can predefine all the things with the site template so where this is going to be uh, useful so suppose when you have a company website or a blog website so you want to create multiple blog websites or multiple company websites from the same styling from the same menu uh, uh, common in common case uh, you will have um, something called um, about us and uh, services and contact us and portfolio would be um, uh, uh, showing in common uh, websites which has a, a common company websites for common organization websites so all the common organization can use with the site templates associated with life frame so uh, I'm just going to uh, show you how we will use this site template for one of our newly created sites so I'm going to create a site when clicking on add site uh, you would see Arun's template here you can you can directly click on Arun's template this will reflect all the content which has Arun's template um, because you, you you would see here Arun's template has a home and uh, about us menu and drop down like there is sub menu like about Arun and about Archa those things would be there so all this is going to be reflected in this templated site so um, I'm just going to mention this as templated site by Arun's template oh, okay I'm just giving this as a description and public pages I'm just uh, selecting copy as public pages all the site template is going to be public pages and I'm, I'm not going to select any parent site I'm just clicking on save you see now templated by a uh, templated site by Arun's template got created I didn't create any pages at all but if you click here in the site pages you would 
probably see all the pages all the pages main pages and sub pages which is created with the Arun's template that template is going to get reflected here and if you click here in the private pages we are not seeing any private page because the private pages are not associated so how you could uh, add the private pages is click on here in the configuration and site settings go here down you could see the private pages select this as Arun's template enable propagation no I don't need to select a parent site just clicking on save what you would see is now go back to the site pages click on private pages you would see all the pages uh, which is associated with uh, Arun's uh, site template you would see and you could see the public pages of this site and private pages of this site I'm clicking on public pages see what what it is reflected the site template uh, name the site name the new site name came here it was the site template actually this is Arun's template but the name he came here which you have given for the site and the contents is also the same which is added in the site template all this content is reflecting with this site so again I can see the private pages also here the private pages is also the same way so so how how it makes a difference is so n number of sites you create with this site template you will reflect the default contents which is associated with the site will be a site template will be reflecting directly to your sites so this makes your life easy with the site templates and in next tutorial we will be learning about page templates Thanks for watching this video. Keep subscribing. Thank you once again.